It's a very, very original story. Basically, uh, the main sort of idea that we play with is can one ever elegantly walk away from the criminal business? You know, can you get out? With, with your bag of gold and your soul intact. You know, and that's the central question. So, you know, it's, it's a very original story, you know, but it also, like, the sensibility of it is vintage guy. You know, it goes back to his lock stock and his snatch days and, you know, really, really great cast doing things that I think across the board you're not used to seeing these actors do. I mean, I was just talking about it, but I think particularly um, Hugh Grant is going to just really shock the world with what he does in this film. I, I, uh, I sat and bore witness for, I, I'm the recipient of these enormous monologues that he gives in the film. You know, this is uh, we put, we sort of play the narrators of the film, but he came in and over the course of five days delivered, you know, 35 pages of dialogue and just put on a veritable clinic in acting. Uh, it was really a, a beautiful and humbling thing to behold. So I think people will be very excited to see that. I mean, it, it was really extraordinary. I got to work with Colin Farrell, obviously, who uh, I, you know, have sort of, you know, our careers have paralleled, you know. We started at exactly the same time, and I've always been an enormous fan of his work, and, you know, I was really, really excited to get to work with him. And then, obviously, McConaughey is, you know, I, I just think it's extraordinary what he's done in the last, like, seven or eight years of his career. And, you know, as, you know, it's always... You know, it's, I forget exactly the saying, but you know, it's 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 always sometimes dangerous to meet your heroes because they might turn out to be dickheads. You know, <laughs> I'm paraphrasing, of course, but uh, but you know, Matthew turned out to be as nice a guy as he is a great actor. So we had a really nice time working together. So I play the right-hand man of Matthew McConaughey in the film, uh, who is the biggest weed dealer in the UK. And, you know, there's a little bit of a... I don't want to give too much away, but I think that the first impression of me is that I'm a, like a very bookish administrator, sort of involved in more of the logistics of the operation, kind of more of a bookish character. And then there's a kind of a turning point in the movie where it is revealed that I have a... A, a much darker function within this, you know. Old Raymondo's not afraid to pull out the bone saw when necessary. From the footage that we sort of showed, um, it's the first time I think we both both sort of had seen a, a cut like that. It's so kind of distinctly guy that I, I was just grinning from ear to ear. 